You ever have one of those weeks where it feels like just about everything is going off course on you? But that was pretty much my week this past week. First I was sick. Now I mentioned in last week's video how I felt like I was getting over a cold. Well that cold never really left and I was kind of fighting it all week last week and I still feel like I'm battling that cold right now. It's just one of those lingering low level colds. The next thing is I broke my tilt top table. Now this is the table I use for everything out here in the office. I use it for doing my videos, I use it for doing my listing photography and I use it for my packing videos. It's just a lovely surface to work on and I was moving around the office and I broke the leg. Thankfully I did manage to get it back together and I'm using it again. And then the last thing is I barely sold anything this past week. It was one of the worst weeks I've had in the longest time. I had five sales. Just five. And I even listed stuff last week. I listed stuff for the first time in about four to five weeks. And I still managed to barely have anything for sale. So I don't know what was going on there. So I almost didn't put together this What's Sold video this week thinking I didn't have enough items to show you. But I decided that I'm a creature of habit. I'm just gonna put together a video anyways. Hopefully this coming week I'll have some decent sales. I'll start to feel a bit better. And I'll be back to business as usual. But anyways, enjoy today's video. This is a large jumbo circular knitting needle, size 50. So this is a quite a large needle. Now my wife and I, we run a website called knittinghelp.com. It's a free video instruction tutorial website teaching people how to knit. And as part of that site, we have a little store attached and we sell knitting needles, knitting needle sets, and yarn and other notions. And I've been working on that site for the last month because this is the season now that people are getting into knitting. So we try to kind of boost up the site, boost up our inventory. And so that's where my time's been. When I said I haven't been listing on eBay, that's the reason. So I had this inspiration that I was going to start listing some of these knitting needles on eBay just as kind of an experiment and see if I could kind of expand our reach by putting our products on some other platforms. So last week I listed two different sizes of the same knitting needle and one of them sold, but it actually sold through Bonanza for $12.95. So not a ton of money in this, but it's just I'm able to reach a different market a little bit. I'm able to expand our sales. So I'm going to keep doing this experiment. I'm going to keep adding some products as the season goes on and see how it pans out. More new in the box Canon stuff sold from that retail camera store auction that I went to in January. These are some photo and ink and paper packs for a selfie ES printer system. I think it's a fairly obscure system that maybe wasn't popular in the US because most of these that I sell end up going to international locations. I've sold, sent them off to the UK, I've sent them to Australia, and now these five here are going to Hong Kong. They paid ten dollars a piece, so they paid about fifty bucks for all these, and then they're paying another thirty-three dollars and twenty-one cents in shipping. So this is an old one-gallon stoneware jug, dates probably to 1870. It uh, has a maker's mark of F.T. Wright and Son, Taunton, Mass. And the interesting thing about this is I had it up for $169, and the day before it sold, I got a message from someone claiming to be a stoneware collector and saying how I was, you know, being absurd trying to get $169 or even more than 25 bucks for it, and that they collected these things, and good luck with that, basically. The very next day, I got an offer of $90, which I accepted. And it just goes to show you can never really know the motivation of your buyer. Um, the person who bought this is from Massachusetts. I'm guessing that this jug has some significance to them potentially and it appeals to them for that reason. So they're in Massachusetts. Maybe they grew up in Taunton or they just want a jug that says Taunton or maybe they're related to F.T. Wright and Son. Who knows? But uh, just don't sell yourself short and don't listen to the, uh, to the haters. This is an old gravy boat with an attached underplate. And I got this in a tray lot, and it was really beat up. It's a beautiful, beautiful piece, but it's got a lot of chips and damage going on on the gravy boat, on the underplate, underneath. But it, it's a significantly old piece, and I believe it's from France. And just the the art on this and the printing is just really fantastic. So I really it broke my heart to consider throwing it away. So I decided to list it to give it a better home, and I think I had it up for. $39 and somebody came around and offered me $22 and I was happy to send it on to them. This is another watch which I bought in that lot of watches from the UMass Police Department auction. This is basically a lost and found item. Somebody loses it on campus, gets turned in, it doesn't get claimed for a certain period of time and then they send it off to auction. 
And I bought about, I think it was like six to eight watches in that lot. I paid about $30, I believe. And this is just a really nice Seiko watch. It's in great shape. It's a men's watch. It's a chronograph. And it works flawlessly. And I had this up for $89. And somebody sent me a message asking me if I would take $75 for it. And it's been a little bit slow this week. So I said, sure. Sent them back an offer through the uh, send an offer feature in eBay. And they accepted.